in Salt Lake City and 86 in Charlotte. My all right. Thank you, Mary Kay. A kind of treasure chest of memories was lost about a half a decade ago. That is until a Fox River Grove man located it and unlocked its secrets. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with more on how it was found and why its keepsakes were returned. Sometimes the novelty of nature it always comes down to composition and lighting becomes the focus a photographer Josh Selke was shooting in Sanibel it was so beautiful but back in May a trip to a Florida beach involved his lens and what he spotted with his eyes what didn't really look like a camera at the time it was all rusty and had barnacles on it he took home what remained of a waterproof camera once looking like this yeah <laughs> carefully cut out the memory card from the layered grip of the aged calcium and debris um well and to his surprise here's a whole variety of these family photos the mutilated memory card revealed someone else's memories i do it as a career so i mean to lose an entire group of photos would be devastating for me so a man taking photos began looking for the strangers in about 170 found photos he rescued from a watery digital grave. It basically comes down to I'd like someone to do the same for me. He shared his find on Facebook. The first day it was about 200. And the shares kept coming. It blew up big time. How many shares? It's up to, well, it got up to 3,000 plus. As soon as the shares started happening, I was like, I'm... This is going to happen. I'm going to find these people. After only 11 days, the owner of the calcified camera came forward. He found it about a block away from where I lost it. West Palm Beach, Florida's Kristen Cirillo says she lost the $200 camera about five years ago on vacation, but the images inside were far more valuable. They are priceless memories, and uh, I love looking at them. It's, it's really fun to look back and remember that trip. To hear their excitement is the best part of it all. He's just an amazing soul. Zelke may prefer to take pictures. Oh yeah. But it's what he returned that's leaving a lasting impression. It was awesome. It was such a great experience. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Zelke says if he's ever back in Florida, Cirilla wants to meet up and thank him personally by buying him and his girlfriend lunch. For the latest headlines day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Mai Martinez. Have a great day.